Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we'll be working on a Land Rover Discovery 2 right here at the shop guys. We have a lot of videos on that thing. We'll be doing engine replacement. So quick detail. Now we're going to make a video how to how to remove and replace the mass airflow sensor which is this one right here. If you have a code that relates to mass airflow sensor we're talking about this thing right here. Always guys, replace them with original, okay, Bosch sensor. We, uh, in the past, we've tried those Chinese versions sometimes. Some will work, some will not, and you'll get a terrible gas mileage. So if you get lucky, it might work. But three out of five didn't work for us, so we just stick with the original now. So we're going to use a flathead screwdriver. We're going to remove that clamp right here. Okay, you can see. Then we have two clips, but you have to be super careful about this one here. This is the uh, the coolant tube that goes to the radiator, and this is breakable. So you have to be you have to be careful there. Okay, now we are going to open the okay the air filter box. I think there is only a couple tabs. Okay, next we're going to remove that hose that we just took off so we can open the air filter box, we'll show you why. And this one is stuck pretty good, it hasn't been out of there in a long, long time. So we'll help it a little bit with the screwdriver, just be careful not to break it if you pry on it or something like that. Okay, now we're going to uh, pull this one up, okay, like that. And now we can actually release the sensor with the clips. Okay, and there is a rubber seal, so it gets stuck pretty, pretty good. So all we need to do just wiggle it and it will come out. If you break that little tube, guys, you need new radiator. So be careful around that, that's why we had to remove the lid. We're going to squeeze those towards each other. Okay, and pull it. Okay, like that guys. And this is the mass airflow sensor right here. Uh, this is a 99 model, specific model, okay. And this is the part number for that vehicle. Yours might differ, so always check it before you order one. So that will be whole procedure guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, help us grow that channel together and see you next time.